Hey there, I'm Sakali. For Steam Next Fest, I played about 50 demos over 9 streams over on Twitch. Here's part 2 of everything I played on day 7. Hiboka is a horror adventure inspired by some of the early Resident Evil type games, and while I enjoyed some of the puzzles that I experienced in the demo, the controls are probably some of the worst I've experienced throughout the entire Steam Next Fest. Some Resi fans might get more out of this, but really not for me. The Last Worker gives off similar kind of story vibes to Portal, however instead of being the subject of experimentation, you're playing more of a guy who's hiding the balls, uh, trying to fend off killer robots. The stealth elements may give me extreme anxiety, but I'm definitely intrigued by the ever-thickening plot of this one. Lumance is one of the most satisfying roguelikes I played during Next Fest, with absolutely stunning environments and buttery smooth combat. A handful of the models and animations need a little bit of polishing, but I'll excuse just about anything that least lets me use a fish as a weapon. Land Above, Sea Below is perfect for anyone who played Dwarf Romantic, but wants a little bit more anxiety with every play. In this game, you are chaining together landscape tiles in order to raise your land up and escape the rising waters below. It's very easy to panic as some of your <laughs> landscape tiles go underneath the water and leave you stranded. <laughs> Railbound is one I really want to see in a mobile game, so I can have it on hand at any given point. It's a simple and stylish puzzle all about correctly assembling rail cars in order to make a trip. Each success feels rewarding, and some of the challenges are deceptively difficult. Whew, we got through them all. Well, that is everything we did on day seven, all 10 games. Uh, so tune back in for day eight. We'll see you then. Bye.